Hi. Hi. Nat and I, we've been fighting and I have been struggling with this for like a while. Here, let me show you back. It's hard, it's really hard to start telling people and it sucks and it's embarrassing. Well, come on in. Look at you, corner office. I know. Gosh, I feel like I'm in an interview. <laughs> yes. You don't wanna go and tell your friends who think your relationship's perfect that you're not. How are you? What's going on with you? Um, still just trying to like process everything from the yes. party, from yeah. the party that was heavy, that was a lot. I was, I was so upset already just because I know that I'm dealing with this whole other thing that's going right. on in my life right now. Right. And it's not even necessarily a bad thing between Matt and I, but it's just that I didn't know how to communicate that to you guys. And I'm a pretty private person when yeah. I first get to know people. Yeah. And a lot of like self-discovery been going on in my house the last six months mm -hmm. for myself and for Matt. Uh -huh. When I first met you, what you talked about, and then to today, I feel like we skipped like a hundred steps I in know. between. Then... You know what it is? This was hard for us because we couldn't figure it out. We couldn't figure it out for a long time. Uh -huh. And we apparently were both kind of feeling the same way, but nobody mm -hmm. wanted to say it. Mm -hmm. And then we- So were you having conversations with him? We like, were just- not this is not, not working we were, we were, or we're yeah, not getting Well, we were fighting or... a lot. And then we were looking at each other like, you know, maybe this isn't the best thing for us. And once you get to the point where you're fighting so much and you're fighting over like stupid things, you're forced to look at your relationship and evaluate that. And you realize you're just really fighting so much because you don't even have an emotional connection anymore. We couldn't figure it out. We were like, maybe we're not supposed to be together, but then what's the alternative? That now I go dump my kids off, you know? Yeah. And then I'd be like, all right, well, that's not gonna work. So then we would be like, we're gonna be committed to this. We're gonna make this work. And then we would fight again. I don't wanna go through the type of thing where I wait like five, 10 years, and then it's like, uh, mm -hmm. like what Shannon's going through, you know what I mean? Yeah. I know I don't wanna let anybody down, but it's like, I don't feel like my marriage was a failure. I just feel like it's ending, you know? Yeah. It's not so much about me knowing what I definitively want in a partner or need to have in a partner. It's more about me recognizing what I don't have. It's hard because it's this whole like social perception of what you're supposed to be doing. You have to do what's best for you and yeah. your family and your kids. And if you and your husband have sat down and talked about it and you've come up with what you feel is best, yeah. then you just, you just have to go with that, you know? Thanks for watching. To subscribe, click here. To watch more videos, click here.